What is up everybody, Dan Dan the Fireman here. We're gonna be going over the top emergency motorcycle maneuvers that you should know. And Daniel's gonna be out there on the range, so that's why you see I'm like mixed in right there, it's pretty cool. But we're gonna be uh, doing some stuff. I'm gonna describe what you need to know and he's going to show you how to do it. Now, best thing you could possibly do is take a motorcycle class, that way you are absolutely 100% paired and is the absolute safest way of doing it. All right, let's jump into it. All right, thank you Dan Dan for the introduction. We're gonna be going over uh, those 10 things that you need to know while he's in the office doing some dumb stuff. He has to be, <laughs> sucks to be him, I get to go ride. So I'm gonna be doing this on the new FDR 1200. It's only got 98 miles on it, <clears throat> excuse me. While he's explaining everything, I'll just go ahead and do it. All right, so while he's getting ready and setting up for the swerve, what he's gonna do is he's gonna get into position and then swerve to the right. Uh, this is something that you're gonna learn in the BRC1 class. So I highly recommend taking a class at Ride Arizona MTC. This is their range right here. So let's, let's do it. All right, you ready, Dan? We're gonna do the swerve. I'm ready, man. All right, cool, so what cool, he's gonna cool. do is he's gonna swerve to the right, or I'm gonna swerve to the right, and keeping my body upright. We're gonna move the body, and very good, man. All right. Very good. So he's gonna get back into position. Right. He's gonna do it again. So this is, uh, I wanna explain and show you guys multiple positions. All right, ready, he, I'm gonna do All it right, again, man. all right? Make sure my upper body's nice and straight, practicing my maneuvers. So swerve to the left. So and you want to swerve the brakes. first. There we go. Hopefully he's explaining that. All right, one more time. All right, so you want to swerve first and then apply the brakes. You do not brake while swerving. That will cause you to have your tire traction lose grip and you could either low slide, high side, you're gonna fall. Very good. Looking at you, drone. Very good, man. Looking so at you. what he's gonna do is uh, possibly get ready for emergency braking. So let's see. Yeah, so the next one is gonna get ready for emergency braking. Emergency braking is a good form of braking. Uh, just remember that your front brake has 70% of the power, um, of stopping power. So make sure you apply that front brake and progressive front so brake. Very one. easy, very progressive front brake to where it's not a grab. You're nice, smooth, smooth pressure. So he's setting up the drone right now. He's getting in position. And to keep in mind while you're doing this is grab is bad. Grab is absolutely bad. You want to apply firm pressure to the front brake while applying the back brake as well. So if you apply too much back brake, if you apply too much rear brake, you're gonna have a rear tire slide. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna skid. That's fine. Just release the rear tire while it, the bike is still in line and you should be absolutely fine. It should be, it should be okay. So the next time you practice it, you use a little bit of rear brake. So if you use too much front brake, if you use too much front brake, don't worry too much on that. You're gonna have a, a definite slide. So s release that front brake. All right. You got so it? Wow. You ready? Cool. Oh. So he's getting into position. He's gonna do emergency braking, okay? So if the front tire does slide, release your brakes and then reapply. Having ABS really does help in this situation because it prevents that lockup. All right, I'm gonna give him a break real quick. So what we're gonna be doing is emergency braking. I'm gonna be applying a lot of pressure to my, my front and rear brake. And once I feel that pressure transition, the weight transition to the front tire, I'm going to apply more and more progressive front He's brake apply and pressure. apply the Let's front brakes. Progressive, smooth front brake and pressure. Once you feel good. Booyah. Let's do that one more time. So once I feel that off. pressure, so once I feel that weight transition, to the front tire, I apply more and more and more front brake pressure. Like I'm squeezing, 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 squeezing even harder and harder and harder. All right, so he's gonna do it again time. real quick. At the same time, I'm yeah, holding in the, the clutch. clutch. It's very important. Pull in that clutch, that way you don't stall and then you have Let's to Let's do it off. one more time, just so I can show you guys. Now all these things you learn in the MSF. I'm out here on the Ride Arizona MTC's course. This is a beautiful course, well done, well made, expertly kept, a great instructor. So make sure you guys swing on by. All right, so he's gonna do it one more time, apply the brakes. Once you feel that pressure, the weight transfers, there you go. There you go. Once you feel that weight there transfers, you you're good to go. So make sure you guys swing on by, RideArizonaMTC.com. Sign up for a class, I could teach you, they could teach you. Now let's move on to the next one, I'll let him talk. All right, talk. so mercy breaking in a corner. Now this is very, very dangerous to practice. So I highly recommend you take an MSF course, the BRC1, and take and practice this there. I'm only bringing this up so that you know that this is an emergency move that you have to have. I do not recommend taking or, or doing this out on your own because this is a legit oh, yeah. emergency maneuver that you need to know. Um, you need to learn all the prior techniques of stopping, 
or not stopping, but uh, uh, straightening the handlebars up and applying the brakes while trying to stop. Um, it's very difficult. So he's going to show us how to do it. He's setting up right now. He's gotten the drone. Uh, he's moving into position. Once again, this is Ryder's MTC's uh, range out here uh, in Tucson, and highly recommend it. You're gonna learn all this stuff during the BRC1. Radiator fans moving on. It's getting a little warm. It's 92 degrees out. All right, so hopefully explain to you what all this is about. Okay, we're gonna pretend we're going through an actual turn. Okay, so I'm gonna do an actual turn. This is actually an exercise you learn in the MSF BRC1. Once again, sign up. This right here is no substitute for real training. But I just gotta let you guys know, this is what you need to know. All right, so I'm gonna, this, I'm gonna do a regular turn. So I'm gonna do a regular turn. I'm gonna look where I wanna go and regular turn. That's the path of travel that we wanna have, right? Let's say that there's something in the way. Let's say that there's a car blocked in the way or there's massive debris and you have to stop. All right, let's do it. So there's two ways of doing it. Progressively braking and then stopping straight. Notice how I straighten the handlebars. Let's do that one more time. I'll do it. I'll just jump in right here. So we're going to progressively brake. So slowly applying the brakes while we're straightening up. Okay, very good. That's one way. Now here's the emergency one. This is the emergency one. That one right there, you already do when you get like when you park your bike. Okay, but this one is emergency. So we're going to be like, oh crap, I'm going to make my turn look into my way. Oh crap. Straighten up, apply the brakes. Important to straighten up, apply the brakes. Do not do this. Do not practice this on the streets. Make sure you go and take a real class, professionals, that will teach you this. I'm just letting you guys know what you need to know. Very important. All right, All right. very good. Uh, you definitely don't practice on the streets. On Practicing on the streets is, is dangerous because you have curbs, you have you know debris, you have a bunch of other stuff. So that's why you take this out on an actual MSF course. Arizona, make sure you swing on by right Arizona MTC. It's the best place to do it. Um, you're gonna learn all that stuff. So don't practice this on your own. I just want you to understand that this is a technique that you need. So he's gonna set up for the obstacle cross. The obstacle cross is something that if you can't swerve out of something, if you can't swerve out of the way of, um, uh, of like an obstacle on the road, like two by four. We're gonna be using a two by four in this situation. So if there's a two by four in the middle of the road, it's eight feet long, it's covering the whole lane, you have to go over it. Uh, this is what you do, okay? Uh, the best thing that you can possibly do is just completely avoid it if you can. So maybe switch lanes. So that's where the swerve comes into play or, or just even seeing it ahead of time and then moving over into the other position. So he's setting up right now. There's that two by four that I was talking about. So it's very important to, uh, to know that. And I think he's gonna start talking. Beautiful, beautiful. A little fly flew Hi. by. Um, another thing is, um, think about obstacles as maybe speed bumps, um, railroad tracks, things like that. All right, so the next one, we're gonna be going over an obstacle. Now this happens sometimes. What's the most common place, guys? Write in the comments. Most Oops. common place where you'll find an obstacle. I just gave it away. I'll give you a hint, it's in a parking lot. <laughs> or residential. Write it in the comments. All right, so you want to do is approach it at a 90 degree angle, so sit your butt up. butt up. There you yeah. go, that's one way of doing it. Sit your butt up. Simple as that, do not slow down beforehand because when you slow down, your front suspension dives a little bit, just like that with engine braking or applying the brakes and that will apply too much pressure over the bump. So you lift your butt up and then you can also blip the throttle. So let's go over it, maintain your speed, lift the butt up, little bit of blipping of the throttle. Let's go back the other way. I personally like to slow down before the bump, before the hit, before the speed bump. I like to do that and then just lift my butt up. Lift my butt up. Very good, very easy. That, you don't want to hit obstacles if you can avoid it. You really don't want to hit obstacles if you can avoid it. The only time you hit them is if you cannot avoid it. Best to, thing to do is to swerve out of the way like we we learned in exercise one. All right, very good, man. Uh, right there, obstacle cross, all these swerving, you know, braking, emergency braking in a corner, all these things you can be uh, taught at an MSF course. So make sure you go to msf-usa.org, and uh, that way you'll have uh, you can put in your zip code and figure out where you're going uh, for what classes. But if you're in Arizona, right, Arizona MTC, just like we are out here on the range, very good. 
Um, but definitely practice these things on a course. These are emergency maneuvers that you're going to need to learn from a professional. Okay, I'm making a YouTube video. I can only show you so much. You need to actually be out there and ride. Okay. There's a few other things. There's a skate pass. There's gravel. There's rain that he's going to be talking about. But I'm going to talk to you until he gets back on the the mic. He's actually taking the drone down right now. It's very important to uh, make sure you don't run that battery super low. But as you can tell, there's a bunch of bikes here. This is the the, the range over here at Riders and Arizona MTC. Um, if you're BRC1, you get provided with a bike. Um, you get provided with a helmet and gloves if you don't have your own. All you have to do is learn how or know how to ride a bicycle. Um, Closed-toed shoes. Make sure they're like boots. Like these are really good boots right here that I recommend. Um, just something like that, hiking boots if, if that's what you want to do. Uh, long sleeve shirt and a pair of quality uh, jeans or, or pants. No leggings or anything like that. All right, let's shut this right, thing so off. We're going to talk about the other stuff. I'll be seeing let's you guys later. Let's use the cameras right? that we got here. We're done with the drone. We're done with the actual riding portion. And this is a lot. I'm going to tell you right now, guys. You need to take a class. I'm using my rock form. Mount. Secure. Not moving anywhere. 25% off Dan Dan 25. Anyways. You need to take a class. It's very important to take a class. You need professional training. What I just did here, there's no way you're going to learn that unless you take a class. Try practicing on your own. It's dangerous. You're not getting the right direction. I'm just letting you know, letting you know that this is what you need to know. And this is only part of it, part of it. We're going to go over escape paths real quick. We're going to talk about escape paths. You need to have escape paths. That's where your visual acuity comes in. Stay alert, stay alive. I'm going to try to trademark that. Please, no one else do it. Hopefully, it's not already done. Anyways, stay alert, stay alive. You need to be focused. You need to be scanning. You need to be alert, zoned in, not zoned out. You need to pay attention to what you're doing. You, that's the only way you're going to find an obstacle in the road. That's the only way you're going to find rain. That's the only way you're going to find gravel. Imagine gravel. Imagine all of this just in the road on a turn. Sucks. So the only way you can really avoid that is to start straightening up your bike a little bit because you need to have more traction. Remember, trust your tires. Trust your tires. Have more traction by straightening up just a little bit. There's a lot of gravel out here turning onto the main road off of Houghton. And you know what? I slowed down. I slowed down before the approach, not while there was gravel. Because if you try to slow down in gravel, you're going to start sliding just a little bit. So I slowed down before the gravel because I saw it. And then I straightened up a little bit and took my turn nice and easy. Only way you're going to do that out on the main roads is if you're paying attention. So pay attention to that. Next one is rain. Got to watch out for rain. Oh my gosh, rain gets a lot of people. I, do, I talk about that in my live streams a lot. Uh, rain and then not being able to see a lot because at nighttime, but we're not worried about that. Rain. About the first 30 minutes, you're going to get all the debris, all the like the dirt and all the oil surface, surface oils to start seep up and then roll off by the rain. The rain's going to wash it off the road. So the first 30 minutes of a rain, watch out watch out you're gonna start seeing the, the 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 rainbow colors of oil slide off the road avoid those as much as possible your tires if they are well kept okay if you have good tread on your tires these are brand new tires if they have good tread the reason why you need tread is because it displaces the water and it puts water within those channels of the tread so the pieces that stick out are actually touching the ground you do not want to hydroplane on water okay so make sure your tires are well maintained proper psi they're uh, not, they're not uh, worn down. Don't, don't ride with belts. Terrible idea, okay? Rain's very important to, to for me personally, I just avoid it. I just avoid it because I'm recording all the time, so I just avoid it. Death wobbles. Getting the bike and death wobbling, scary, scary, scary stuff. But the reason why a lot of it happens is because pro uh, improper maintenance to the bike, improper maintenance to the front forks, they're, they're out of line, uh, bad tire pressures, uh, doing wheelies and slamming down. Seen that happen a lot. Once again, all this information I give you, uh, there's there's people out there that are, that that will say otherwise. There's going to be people out there that are going to say, you know what, uh, I learned this way, I learned this way. That's great. That's great. If it's if there's multiple tools to fix the same problem, perfect. As long as it fixes the problem, right? Uh, the best way to learn the best tools and the best way to learn the proper tools. I'm still learning. I'm still learning. Is to come out and take a course. Get a course taken by professionals. Riders on MTC, I'm over here. I opened up their back end. I'm using their piece of wood. I'm using their range. Uh, I'm partnered with them. So Trina, Steve, hopefully this is all good. Um, you said I can come out here. I'm training with my new bike, so I'm playing around. Um, but make sure you guys swing on by. Swing on by. Uh, you can't play around unless unless you're you're an MSF coach. You can't you can't practice. That's what I'm doing here. 
Um, but you can sign up for classes, a beginner class, advanced class, bike bonding class, a bunch of different classes, all in the state of Arizona. So if you look up Arizona motorcycle training, make sure you pick Ride Arizona MTC, Ride Arizona Motorcycle Training Centers. All right, guys, hopefully I helped you out. Longer video than I expected, but it's important, okay? All right, with that said, I want you guys to ride safe, be safe, stay alert, stay alive.